Hey YouTube Brando here. I wanted to do a review today on the Nebo 13 in 1 screwdriver set. Now you can go to uh I believe it's nebotools.com but they've discontinued this. You can't find it anymore. Uh I found this one used on eBay some time back uh right after they discontinued them. And you may be able to find some new old stock on them, so you might find one that's brand new. Uh, I just don't, I don't think you can get them from uh, Nebo Tools. <clears throat> In fact, I've been doing searches on there all morning. And, uh, can't find them anywhere, so. All I can find is the multi-tools and, uh, stuff like that. So we're going to do a review on this one today, and I'm going to let you know some, uh, pros and cons on it. I think that uh it's a good concept. Uh it's ratcheting and it's reversible so you can loosen and tighten with it. The only problem I find with uh ratcheting is look how far you gotta turn it before it clicks. They should have had some finer teeth gears in here to uh have a smoother ratcheting action because it only ratchets three or four times every time you do that so and that's turning it about halfway or, I don't know a little more than a quarter between a quarter and a half so probably about a third of the way and it's only clicking uh, that many times I don't like that uh, I like smoother smoother action on my ratcheting uh, if you use like say SK smooth uh, smooth action ratchet wrenches and then you go and use some cheap like Craftsman or uh, uh, I forget the name of the other brand that I that I use often but if you go use another brand you can tell a big difference in the ratcheting action you can see what I'm talking about I'm just real I don't know, I, I guess I, I, after you use expensive tools for a while and then you go use cheap tools, you can tell a huge difference in them, so I'll let you be the judge of that. In the handle, now this is the 13 in 1, uh, this is where they get their number from, that doesn't include like, you know, some of them will include the screwdriver, some of them will include the cap. Uh, that's just the bits that fit in the tip of this thing and there it comes with a uh, quarter inch nut driver uh, three hex allen heads and one two three Phillips it comes uh, small medium and large on, on both of those and then uh, two flat heads and three Torx bits and believe it or not these Torx bits uh, they come in handy like this works on my GSG 522 this works on my bow uh, and this one works on my Hoyt crossbow okay sorry about that YouTube I had somebody knocking on my door asking about the Mustangs in my front yard anyways uh, you can use this thing with this uh, directly on here the extension or it comes out uh, pros I, I think you know it has a little bit of everything on here a little bit of everything of what you would need and they're built uh, they're made out of good metal good steel you know it's a uh, tool grade steel it's not them cheap little bits they make for those little sets that you know start rounding off the first time you use them. These have been used quite a bit. You can tell they still have their shape. So that, you know, that's a pro. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's actually pretty light. You could fit it easily in a bug out bag uh, or uh, EDC, whatever. Wherever you wanted to carry it. It, it shouldn't add too much weight to it. Uh, another bad is that it's not magnetic I wish they would have made this magnetic to hold the bits a little more secure and the bits 
should be magnetic to hold the screws on there or the bolt or, or wh whatever you're working on I, I would have liked that a little bit better and you know as big as this thing is you see how big it is they could have added a little light or something around here a little small LED something you just flip off, off and on or whatever somewhere would have been nice they could have done more with it with the space they have this is a huge handle uh, and I just don't see why they wouldn't have added more to it I understand you have the ratcheting uh, gears in here but you could have ran it in here somewhere or something like that and you know had a nice little light on it that would have been nice I, I noticed a lot of the multi-tool screwdrivers have lights on them but they don't ratchet so maybe that has something to do with it is the fact that you know but I can live without the ratcheting you know I, di I didn't have to have that uh, to be able to call it a, a good tool you know it could have just had been a regular screwdriver and I would have preferred the light because like I said this ratcheting it's not I mean it takes quite a bit of, of you see that so overall I think it's a good buy if you can pick them up I picked this one up for under ten dollars I know I'm, I'm, not, I'm not recalling exactly what I paid for but I know it was under ten dollars used on eBay and it looks like from their website the cheapest uh, kind of tools they have are about mm, fifteen dollars somewhere in there and that is nebotools.com n-e-b-o-t-o-o-l-s dot com you can check out some they have really cool stuff on there they have a uh, fishing and outdoor gear uh, they have army lights uh, uh, the brand I guess and they just have a bunch of little cool multi-tools you know fishermen's multi-tools workmen's multi-tools uh, they have uh they have all kinds of cool stuff on there so check out their website it's definitely worth a uh, worth looking at and uh like i said if you get a chance to get one of these for under ten dollars it's well worth the money thanks for watching youtube